Welcome back to Computer Science 2002. My name is Sam, and we are going to be talking about something called computer architecture. Okay, so you must be wondering why you're watching a video if I'm sitting in the room. Uh, there's a simple explanation for this. We are using a new technique in teaching for this course, which you might have seen in some of your other courses, uh, maybe not as elaborately as we are going to do this. It's called the flipped uh, classroom. Yes, I practiced that. Um, and what it means is that we are not going to have lectures in class and you ponder over things after the class. Instead, we're going to do this other way around. So you are going to do a build preparation beforehand, and then when you get to the lecture, we will have some kind of discussion. So there are three parts to what we're going to be doing for the rest of this course. The first thing is what comes before each period. Before each period, I'm going to give you a video and a reading, or a video or a reading, or something like that. Um, and this is something that you will be required to look at before each period. Then, during the actual lecture period, we are going to do a couple of different things. So firstly, there's going to be a quiz. Oh, quiz, quiz, right there. No, we're going to do this. There'll be a quiz. Then we will have maybe a demo or some kind of a guest lecture or some kind of guest to show off something. Um, and then we will have discussion or maybe a debate. So, these are all very important. The quiz, firstly, this is for marks, this counts. If you're not in the classroom, you're not going to get those marks. The discussion counts for a lot, because I'm probably going to take examination questions out of the discussion that we have during the classroom sessions. So, this is what happens during the sessions. The third thing is what happens after the sessions. Now, you know, you, I know what you're thinking, before and after is probably related, but, but after, um, we have assignments. So, you probably have seen this on the schedule. There are two assignments. The first one is going to be on something that we call assembler. The second one, uh, I guess in two weeks I'll figure out what would be an interesting assignment question. Right? So this is what we're doing. Before, during, after, three parts to this. It's going to be exciting. It's experimental. We haven't done this before. Uh, I think it will be more interesting than you might expect. Right. So, um, lectures. What lectures do we have? When are these lectures going to be? Well, I thought I'll just show you a quick timetable for the course. Um, if I happen to, let's just draw the grid here. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we have four weeks left in this academic year, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this is the 22nd of September, the 29th of September, the 6th and 13th of October. Right, so, um, well, of course we have a so-called lecture today, a so-called lecture tomorrow, Wednesday is a public holiday, Thursday I will see you, Friday I will see you as well. Right, next week Monday, Dr. Densmore is going to see you, in that first uh, day of the week, the second day of the week, Tuesday, um, maybe you will have something on Wednesday, maybe as well, and we will let you know about that. On the Thursday, of course, we all know there is a test, and Friday we will have the next lecture period in computer architecture. The following week, uh, we will have so-called lectures on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and last week we will have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. One other thing I suppose I should put in here is that there are these two assignments. The first assignment is going to be due in about two weeks, and the second assignment is going to be due a week after that. So the second assignment is probably not going to be very long. Right. So that's about the schedule for the course. Computer architecture. Maybe what we should do is just dive straight in and start talking about architecture.